Hi, in this video I'll be showing you this. It's the Dyson V8 Animal Plus cordless vacuum cleaner. What I'll do is I'll show you how it works and I'll show you the full range of tools and accessories it comes with and how easy it is to work. So let's get going. The first thing I'll do is to show you a bit about the vacuum itself. Now this is a fairly standard Dyson design where you've got the handheld part at the top of the vacuum. You can remove all of this if you want to. So if you want to use this as a handheld vacuum, then all you do is you press this button and that is removed. So what I'll do is I'll show you this part first, then we'll go into the tools in a bit. Now, first of all, this is a, a really easy design. You've got the on and off trigger here. And as we're on the subject of the trigger, you've actually got two power settings. So on here, now that clearly makes a difference to the suction on the vacuum, but what you will also notice, because this vacuum has a maximum runtime of up to 40 minutes, that if you use it on the minimum suction, then you can achieve that, but if you use it on the maximum suction, especially if you're going to use some of the tools and accessories as well, then that can really reduce the runtime. So on this vacuum it's very easy to empty the bin, all you need to do is pull this handle at the top, it's a red handle, clearly labelled, so any dirt that was in the bottom will drop out, so when you do this just make sure you do it over a bin. What you can do is you can actually take this apart, I will provide a link just here to show you if you want to clean it thoroughly once you've bought one, but just to show you the basic you've got a button in there if you press that then that lifts out what you can also do is you can actually take this bin off if you want to give it a really good clean and underneath here you've got a little red switch and that just pulls it off like that you can't really do a lot else with that I'll show you the filter in a moment but to put that back together all you would do is just locate that back in there that's it that clicks back into place. This top part will just locate there and then you can close the bin. So this part is actually washable, this part of the bin, but we wouldn't recommend cleaning any other part of the vacuum apart from the filters. While we're on the subject of the filter, you've got the one at the top here. So that is washable, just rinse that under water uh, let it dry for 24 hours once you've washed it. You have to let that dry properly. If not, you can damage the vacuum. And you've got another filter on the back. And that one, again, it's easy to take off. It just unscrews from the back. And then just locates back on there. With these, if you do need replacement filters, I will provide a link below just to show you where to get them at a competitive price. So as good as the runtime is on this, Clearly at some point it will need charging. And this is the charger it comes with. A couple of ways you can charge it. First of all, you can just put it directly in the back here. So this is the connection and it just slots into the back there. The advantage of using that is it can go anywhere in the house, as long as you've got a main socket there. The other thing that it does come with is a wall mount. And this is the wall mount itself. It's very easy to put on the wall. You've just got the two screws here, so that just screws into the wall. Just make sure it is a good quality wall you're putting it into. And what you'll find is to put it in there, it just drops in like that. So it is perfectly secure when it's on the wall. You have got access to store two tools on here. I'll cover the tools in a moment. But also, while we're on the subject of the charger, what you can do is, when you first put it in, you can actually put this charging lead into the top here. And the advantage of that is that whenever you put the vacuum back onto the wall mount, then it will charge. That's really an ideal solution, but the only thing you do need to consider is that you do need a main socket near to the wall mount. To give it a full charge, you'll be looking around three to four hours and what you'll find is it will indicate on the side here, by the light, as to when it's fully charged. Another good thing about this vacuum is the battery on it. What you will find over a period of time, 
that the runtime you get on the vacuum will be reduced. That's basically because the battery can start to wear out. It's normally after several years, so you shouldn't need to worry for at least two or three years. But what you can do is you can replace it. And to do that, you've just got one screw at the back here, and you've got a couple of screws underneath. Once you've undone those, then the battery itself will come out. And then just put the replacement one back in and clearly screw it back in. When it comes to the battery, we do recommend the genuine Dyson ones. There are quite a few aftermarket ones, but we don't really recommend those. We've not heard some very good reports about them. So onto the tools and accessories now. This is the main floor drive head. It's called the direct drive cleaner head that it comes with. This is becoming fairly standard across the range of Dyson vacuums. And the main advantage of this is if we have a look underneath, it has got fairly stiff bristles. So the red ones are fairly stiff and the black ones are a bit softer. And this is ideal really for any surface, whether it's hard floors, carpets, tiles. What you can also do with this is you can take it apart. So you can take this roller out simply by putting a coin in the side twist it and then that will just drop off take the roller brush out you can clean it so you can get all the hair off if you got it on there give it a rinse under water make sure it's completely dry and then just put it back together so that is a really really good tool the next tool i'll show you is this one it's called the flexi crevice tool and this, the model of this vacuum cleaner is the v8 animal plus and to make it the plus rather than normal v8 animal is this tool and the main advantage of this is it does extend like that. What you're noticing here is that that's rubber. So, and that is flexible. So it's both ways. So what you can find is if you are trying to get down, say, the side of a sofa or down the side of a car seat, because they're really awkward to get down, then rather than just a standard crevice tool, then it can flex as well and it has got the little brush on the end so that in its own is a really really good tool and it is included with this vacuum the next tool it comes with is this it's called the combination tool and the reason it's combination is it does two jobs first of all you've got this which is the upholstery tool and what you can also do is if you press this button then that changes it into a brush so the brush is ideal if you've got say bits on the surface or if you press that back, the upholstery tool is ideal if you want to get in a little bit more, say on the stairs, or get into corners, then that's a really good and useful tool. So this is the next tool it comes with. This is the mini motorised tool. And this is ideal for using it as the handheld vacuum cleaner. What you'll find, I'll just show you, is if you put that in here, like that, and if we get it going, then that is an ideal tool. If you want to do the stairs or car, for example, then that can really get into the carpet and get a lot of dirt up. As with the direct drive head, you can clean it. So you just pop a coin in the side there. This just pulls out. And then again, you can just rinse it under water, this bit, let it completely dry, put it back in, once you've got all the hair and the, any debris off it, and then you're ready to go. But that in its own, especially when it's used like that, is a very useful tool. The other thing to note is what you can do, if you don't want to use it as the handheld, all of these tools I've shown you so far can go into the extension wand. So if you wanted to, you can use it like that. And you don't always have to use the main direct drive head in here. You can use any of these small tools. So this is the last tool it comes with. This is the classic crevice tool. Really speaks for itself. This is really designed to be used with the handheld part of it. And what you can do is you can get into really little tight corners. It's nice because it's nice and stiff. But if you do need to get into flexible corners, say down the side of a car seat, that's where the flexi crevice tool comes into its own. So really with this vacuum, with the range of tools and accessories it comes with, it's covering pretty much all bases. I hope you've enjoyed the video on the Dyson V8 Animal Plus cordless vacuum cleaner. Please give us a thumbs up 
and leave any comments below on our YouTube video. If you're interested in buying one of these vacuums, then follow the link below to get one at a competitive price. Thanks very much.